Hi, I'm John Mahoney from InfoEngine. I'd like to spend a few minutes introducing you to a new product we've just released for the iPad called Curator HD. Curator HD allows you to take the most interesting and important stories that you find in the feeds you subscribe to and share them with others in a variety of ways. In this video, I'll show you how to get started with Curator HD and give you an overview of some of the key features of this powerful curation product. Let's get started. You can find Curator HD in the Productivity section of the iTunes App Store. The easiest way to get to it is to just search for it by name in the search bar. Once it comes up, you can download it to iTunes by clicking on the free app button below the curator icon in the upper left corner. From there, you can just sync it to your iPad. So let's get started. When you open Curator HD for the first time, it'll prompt you to input your Google Reader account information. This will allow Curator HD to sync up and use all of the RSS feeds and folders that you've already set up on Google Reader. And if you're also lucky enough to subscribe to our InfoEngine service, you can input your ID and password for it here as well. Click Save when you're done, and you're on your way. The Curator HD interface has three main sections. On the left side over here is the Sources window that you use to pick the folders, the feeds, and any stories that you would like to view. The larger panel next to it is the Content Display window. This is where the stories that you select in the Sources window actually show up. Running across the top of the Content Display window is the Curation Control Panel. This area here is where the action really happens in Curator HD. This panel contains four sets of control options for curating stories. The first set of options are around sharing. The Sharing Panel provides a range of options for sharing using popular social tools like Twitter, Facebook, or Tumblr, as well as more traditional tools like email. The next panel of options is found in the Folders panel. You can get there with a simple swipe gesture down. The Folders panel gives you a way to collect and organize stories that you may want to share at a later point. You just need to touch the Add Folder icon to create and name whatever new folders you'd like to place stories in. The next set of options available are around newsletters. The newsletters panel gives you a way to add stories to custom newsletters that you can create and share. This is a section that I'll cover in more detail later. The last panel is the favorites panel. And this provides a single place for you to put the sharing options you use most often. To add an option to favorites, you simply need to touch and hold any icon We'll take this as an example. If I wanted to add the new folder, I just touch and hold it, and I will see a menu option that says Add Icon to Favorites. Once that's done, the option then appears as one of your favorites. When you have your iPad in landscape mode, what you see here all three sections of the Curator HD interface are visible together. If you turn your iPad into portrait mode, the Sources window disappears. To access it, you simply touch the Sources button in the upper left-hand corner, and all the stories that you saw before are now laid out as a drop-down. You can touch a new story to see it, and then touch in the display area to actually make the Sources window go away. Curator HD is a great feed reader, which is actually a really important thing for a curation tool.
To get started reading, you can pick any feed you're interested in, and then just touch the stories that you would like to read. This will normally display a story and any images that are associated with it based on what's contained in the feed it comes from. If you want to see the actual web page for a story, you can just touch the headline to open it. To leave the web and go back to the feed of stories you were looking at, you simply touch the web-like back arrow button found in the upper right-hand side of the interface. Curator HD also allows you to navigate by swiping your finger in the content display window. This allows you to move from story to story or scroll up and down through a story. When you're reading in portrait mode, this actually becomes critical, allowing you to go through an entire feed of stories without actually opening the sources panel. The only time you need to touch the sources panel is if you want to navigate to a new feed and start reading a different set of stories. Curator HD makes it easy to read all of the feeds that are found within your Google Reader feed set. Using the Sources panel, navigate back to the All Items option under Google Reader. This will list every new unread story that is available within Google Reader. Touch the first one, touch inside the display window, and then simple swiping will let you go through the entire feed set. So now, let's take a look at some of the basic sharing options that are available using Curator HD. When you're reading a feed and come across a story that you think could be interesting to other people, all you need to do is to touch the icon of the channel that you'd like to share it across. In this case, if I wanted to share this story via Tumblr, I just touch the Tumblr icon and then fill in the form that pops up, in this case specific to Tumblr, but it would be the similar form for each one of the social sites that are available. If I wanted to instead to ship this story to a group of people via email, I just need to touch the email icon. And what happens is the text of the story is actually embedded in the email along with a link and I can fill in any basic message that I wanted to send, directing people to specific interesting areas within the story, and then just address it to whoever I want to send it to. If you think a story is interesting, but you don't want to send it out yet, all you need to do is touch the folder that you'd like to save it in. You can add the item to the folder, and you'll see the count go up. Another powerful feature of Curator HD is the ability to create formatted custom newsletters for distribution. Say we want to distribute a weekly newsletter on the mobile industry. We need to switch to the newsletter section in the Curation Control Panel and then just touch the Add Newsletter icon. This will pop up a window that lets us add the name of a newsletter. So let's call it Mobile Update. And we also get to add a section name, usually the first section of the newsletter. In this case, we'll call it Android Handsets. And we click OK. We've now created our first newsletter. We see there's a story here on Android that we'd like to add to our newsletter. So we first select the story go to the newsletter section and click on mobile update. We want to add this one story to the Android handset section. So we click add to Android and we're done. There's another story we see here which we'd like to include in our newsletter about Apple passing RIM to become the fourth largest mobile phone operator. Likewise, we click on that and then we go up to mobile update our newsletter and click on it. This time, however, we'd like to add this story to a new section. We'll call this section 
Apple. Touch OK. And we've now added two stories to our newsletter in two different sections. Now that we have a basic newsletter set up, let's open it up and do some final formatting to get it ready for distribution. To open the newsletter, touch the name Mobile Update and choose the menu item Open Newsletter. The newsletter opens to a headline view which shows us the two sections we set up, Android handsets and Apple, and the stories that we have associated with each of them. A more useful view for formatting is the synopsis view. This shows us all the information in the headline view, along with the synopsis that will be included in the newsletter that we're going to send out. The first thing we'd like to do is actually add an image that will be associated with each of these stories in the newsletter. To do that, we touch the Edge Add Image button, and we choose an image from the web page that it came from. In this case, the actual image of the Android handset makes the most sense. In the case of the Apple story, we're going to pick the image of Steve Jobs here in his golfer pose. So there's a few more things we'd like to do before we actually send this newsletter out. The first thing is, we'd like to add a comment to the story on the Sony Ericsson handset. So we click on this little blue icon on the side, touch it, and we get a pop-up which has the synopsis, which we could edit, as well as a small comment section on the bottom. We touch down in the comment section, and let's type, Sony needs to think about Android. 2.2. So that's it. We've added a comment. Uh, we could have changed the synopsis to, to do edits there as well. But you see the comment now is available and associated with this headline that we added to the newsletter. The next thing we'd like to do is we'd actually like to change the icon which will show up in the header of the newsletter. When you create a new newsletter, it usually shows up with the default info engine icon. To change that, we simply touch the icon and we can choose an existing image that we have stored in our photo library. So let's do that and we'll go in, look in the photo library, and let's choose this logo image for the mobile puzzle group, which can be a, a company that we happen to publish this newsletter under. So we can add that and that changes the logo that we have on our newsletter. And we can also add a small comment up here which describes what this newsletter is about. So let's say it's our weekly update on the mobile industry. So let's just close the keyboard and preview the newsletter. And we can preview it by clicking on this menu extension icon here. Just touch it and then touch the Show Preview option. So here's the newsletter as it would be sent out. You can see we have both stories and the section set up. We have the comment that we added showing up with the first story. And we have the change we have to the header of the newsletter. So what we'd like to do now is actually send this newsletter out. We close the preview, go back to the menu extension, touch it, and touch Publish Newsletter. The published newsletter now sets it up as an email that we can send out to anybody we'd like. We simply need to address it. Again, we could add comments to it like we could to any item we email from Curator HD. And then we just click send when we're done and the newsletter is off. So that's a very quick overview of Curator HD to help you get started. But remember, there's more to this app than I've shown here. So don't hesitate to explore it on your own. And remember, you can always find the latest news and videos for Curator HD at infoenginemobile.com. Thanks for watching.